So eSIMs are something we're hearing more and more of. And yeah, over the coming years, eSIMs are gonna be the way that you will connect to networks using your mobile devices like mobile phones, watches even, and in the future, well, I guess pretty much anything that you wanna to connect to a network. So with an eSIM, you actually don't need a SIM card or a SIM card tray in your smartphone. But for right now, the smartphones that do have eSIMs also carry the traditional SIM card slot because we're just not in a position right now to have eSIM only. So what are the potential benefits of eSIM? Well, it should make it way easier for you to have multiple numbers on the same device. So I know uh, a lot of phones, especially in the Android world and in certain countries, people really um, make a lot of effort to have a dual SIM card smartphone. So you can have maybe two numbers in there, like a personal and a business number, and you can switch between them. There's obviously a security advantage to all of this as well. So if you maybe lose your phone or it gets stolen, then you can contact um, your provider, your network provider, and just say the phone was stolen. And what's gonna happen, especially with Apple products as well, is that Apple knows exactly which phone is where, they can track it really easily. And when you have an eSIM in the phone and tracking from the phone maker, you can essentially turn that phone off and have it not make calls. So basically making the phone useless. Another advantage and a really big advantage of eSIM as well is that you can buy one-off data plans and put it straight on your phone. So I do this, I use a eSIM provider when I travel around Asia and basically you can use this service, put some money in there, top it up and then they can give you data services in pretty much any country and you can do this before you travel which is just so much easier. So you can plan everything, you know that you're gonna be in a certain country at a certain time on a certain day and as soon as you land, you have data on your phone. You don't have to go to the airport and get one of those really expensive tourist cars that are like 10 times more expensive than what the locals pay. You can just have an eSIM service, get everything sorted, and you're ready to go as soon as you're at the airport. I do actually use one of these services, and it's not an ad or anything, so I won't go into it, but um, I guess I'll link it below if you just wanna check it out. They're a really good service, it's just so easy, you just top up your account and then when you're in a different country, you're just ready to go and yeah, it's definitely saved me a lot of bother. So yeah, I'll leave a link below if you wanna check it out. More advantages to eSIMs is that in theory anyway, it should be easier to switch between networks in your own country. So for example, in the UK, I know that most major providers um, support eSIMs now and so it should be easier if you maybe see a better deal on another provider, it should be easier to switch you don't have to go out and get the SIM card. It doesn't have to be sent to you. You can just see an offer and then switch straight away. I think in reality, obviously the providers are gonna try and stop you from doing that and make it complicated, but in theory, it should be easier to switch. A possible drawback of eSIM though is that sometimes it is just nice to have a separate SIM, maybe a pay-as-you-go SIM with some money on there just in case. So for example, if you have a couple of phones and I'm always switching SIM cards in and out of phones. If you have maybe a second phone and you don't have any data, you run out of data and you want to maybe switch your SIM card over or your number over to that phone, but you can't connect to the network, then it's gonna be an issue because obviously you need to access the network provider's app or even their website just to change over the number. But if you don't have any data or access to Wi-Fi, then that's gonna be an issue. So that's one possible drawback is that you can't have a separate SIM card maybe with you know, some money on there that you can use in a pinch. But other than that, eSIM's definitely the future and they'll be coming into more phones as time goes on. All right, that's it for this one though. Thank you for watching, hope it was helpful. Sub if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.